What's up? It's your boy Danny Curry, the host of Sports Rock Radio OTBS Online. I'm here with one of the best athletes in the state. Here with my guy Pablo Richter at City High School. How you feeling, Pablo? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, thanks for letting us be a part of you. You know, um, we heard a lot of good things from you from one of your coaches in track. What are some of the things that you accomplished so far in track? Um, I helped us get to Baltimore City Championships. We won that in my sophomore year. Um, in my junior year, that was my first year doing indoor and outdoor. Um, I made it to states for both of them, or for both indoor and outdoor in all my events. Um, and yeah, this year, hopefully more to come. More to come. And I also heard you a good soccer player. Oh uh, yeah, um, I've been playing soccer since I was five years old. Um, I play on my high school team. Um, well, I did play for all four years, but that's over now. That's over now? Yeah. And you was the what? I was the MVP last year. Okay, that's for sure. Um, tell us some of the different, what's the different regimen for track versus soccer? Um, for track, uh, it's kind of an individual sport. Uh, more so, like soccer is definitely like more team-based, team-oriented, because you have 10 guys um, who are with you on the field at all times, so you, like there's more slip-ups that can happen individually, because you know there'll be more people that have your back. Um, but in track, it's kind of just you alone out there, and you have to have like a lot more focus and drive like personally um, to be able to do your best. Like it's you have to hold yourself accountable. It's not like you got more people behind you. Yeah, and not only are you a good athlete, you always you also are a phenomenal student. You have a at school your GPA is what? Four point nine. And you are going to where? Uh, Brown University. Was that on your list? Was that on your bucket list of college? And that was my dream school. That was your dream. First time I too. <laughs> what you looking forward to, Brian? Um, well, I want to do uh, environmental studies with more of like a focus on policy. Mm. So like kind of um, changing things systemically and creating like um, sustainable like solutions for the future, so we can like stop to, like wasting the resources of the of like the environment, but also like work to like promote like. Um, like well-being on a very like tangible like low-level basis like finding like sustainable solutions added forward for like people who are come from like impoverished backgrounds and like don't get enough support on um, in like, the current situation oh it sounds like he's ready <laughs> it sounds like he already know what he's doing so what are, what are some of your outside of sports what are some of the other things you like to do that that some of your teammates or your peers in school wouldn't know um, like Justin uh, Tuck, Ravens football player, he sang opera. Yeah. Tell us something that you might. Well, I also do like singing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to play the bass also, like okay. the double bass stand up. Um, I played piano when I was younger also, because my mother um, is a musician. She plays piano. That's what she went to for college, and um, yeah, she teaches sometimes. She teaches students. So yeah, I def I like music a lot. Like that's kind of a hidden interest. In How did I know that? <laughs> so you played the instrument when you was young, uh, and you played sports. Can you give me the contrasts and comparisons when you're playing, learning the piano and being an athlete? Uh, yeah, both definitely require like a lot of time and practice. Like if you wanna be like good at piano or like any musical instrument, you gotta practice a lot. And the same goes for athletics. Uh, for me personally, like competing in athletics is more rewarding than like learning a piece um, in music, for example. Like that can also be like rewarding when you finally get it and like it all clicks and you understand. But um, for athletics, it's kind of just like you out there alone competing, and that provides like that sense of adrenaline for me. That, I don't really get that from music, so I don't really get <laughs> nearly as much. So, I'm going to ask you a few questions. The first answer coming to your head, I just want you to give me that answer. Who's your favorite musician? <laughs> uh, Chance the Rapper. Are oh, you like Chance? Yeah. Okay. What's your, what's your favorite instrument? Um, piano. Who's your favorite athlete? Uh, Gareth Bale. Uh, who's your favorite track star? Uh, Usain. Who's your favorite sock? <laughs> What's your favorite subject? Um, like um, environmental studies, probably. Like that's not something I take in school, but that's something that I want to do. Like, in the future. So one of the questions I always ask uh, young men your age, uh, and it's kind of unique that 
That's what you want to study in school. What are some of the things that you see or you can help youth our age, and it don't matter the gender, the race, the, uh, the school, the demographic. What are some of the things that you think help you advance this far where somebody watching this interview that see you that's struggling a little bit, it may inspire them? Uh, I think something that's really important for like people my age who might be struggling is just to like have someone who reaches out to them who they can like, talk to honestly. So um, I think something that's really important for teenagers to do is like reach out to their peers. Like when they see someone might be like struggling or like off in the corner to themselves, just, like going through some stuff that you don't really know about. Um, like you kind of like need there needs to be like more of a culture where you're willing to reach out like help them and talk things through because a lot of times like feeling that like support system is like a huge difference in someone's life like otherwise they might feel like they have no one to talk to and they just have to like deal with things on their own and just kind of um builds up until it's like unbearable so yeah so what's up any last words um no no somebody want to hear a note you can have a note for him? No. He, no, he said no. He said no. I can play it, but I can't say it. But we definitely appreciate you, Ablo. Um, one of my biggest things that I always give young athletes as we uh, go off air or when I'm interviewing, I always remember just, and it seemed like you, you, you got half the battle won, but always remember your brand. So anything that you do at this point that's associated with you is going to affect you, whether it's negative or positive. Yeah. So always keep that in the back of your mind that you're a brand. And we appreciate you. And I'm wrapping up. I'm here with Pablo Richter. I like to end all my shows on this note. God plan is perfect. Let's get better every second, every minute, every day. I love y'all. Y'all can't take that away from me. It's your boy Danny Carey, host of Sports Right Radio, OTBS Online. Check us out on all social medias. Two fingers. One love, we out early.